In this episode of Bonaire Dive News, the sites impacted by stony coral tissue loss disease continues to expand, there's a floating coral larva nursery, cruise ship traffic drops off, Bari Reef access is still blocked, and Reef Fiesta 2023 is coming. Plus, weather and dive-related activities you may find interesting. Let's jump in. Unfortunately, the impact of stony coral tissue loss disease continues to grow. Small Wall and Bari Reef have been added to the orange, caution-advised status, as has Just a Nice Dive, which earns it the distinction of being the first impacted site on Klein Bonaire. Also, as a reminder, all dive sites north of Carpata and throughout the Slog by National Park were closed on May 1st. And Buddy Dive Resort is limiting house reef access to guests only. Regardless of where you dive on Bonaire, all divers are encouraged to decontaminate their gear before and after each day dive. You can find decontamination procedures, the latest disease impact map, and other information at stenapabonaire.org forward slash Bonaire National Marine Park. Reef Renewal Bonaire deployed a floating coral larva nursery at Oil Slick Leap last week. According to their post, the large inflatable blue nursery extends above and below the surface and will contain coral larvae that will settle on star-shaped ceramic substrates. It's anchored south of the entrance, beyond the Alcorn corals, and expected to be there for another week or so. We kept a good distance from the floating nursery and also steered clear of these plastic bins, which appeared to have even more ceramic stars. Per the agency, to protect the tiny coral larvae, please allow a safe distance of at least 2 meters if diving, snorkeling, or swimming, and please do not attempt to swim or dive under or in the nursery as your air bubbles could kill the larvae. If you're out there and see an anomaly that could jeopardize the project, you should report it to info at reefrenewalbonaire.org. Both bonaire.portcall.com and the Bonaire Reporter are showing a significant reduction in cruise traffic now that it's summer. That will start to increase again in the fall, but divers should enjoy much quieter night dives and less road traffic to get to dive sites for the next few months. Yay! If you're planning to visit Bonaire in the next few months and haven't been here lately, you should know that the area in front of Bari Reef has been under construction for a while. The old dirt parking lot is being developed into a recreational area to be called Sunset Beach Park. Not only will it be completely accessible on land, but there will even be a wheelchair ramp for people with disabilities who want to go into the water. The planned features also include a barbecue facility, toilets, palapas, and food kiosks, as well as Wi-Fi and a slipway to launch and remove boats. The target completion is late summer, but if you want to dive it now, note that the dock next to Den Laman is private property and not open to the public. That said, it's a relatively short swim from front porch, just 900 feet to the south. Note both sites are currently orange, so this should be your last dive of the day. Finally, Reef Renewal Bonaire has opened up registration for their Reef Fiesta celebration. Although it isn't until June 1st, space is limited, so consider signing up now. The afternoon will start with a short presentation, followed by simultaneous dives at seven different nursery locations, and end with a reception at Buddy Dive Resort. Thirteen dive shops are participating, so check with your favorite one, or visit reefrenewal.org forward slash Reef Fiesta 2023 for more information. Next week's weather appears to be a continuation of this week's weather, which means lows in the upper 70s and highs in the mid 80s. The chances of rain have increased. The wind slows down a little bit at the beginning but looks to roar back as the week goes on. And the water temperatures haven't changed much either, as our dive computers still show 85 to 86 degrees at the surface and 80 to 81 degrees at depth. Also, we've added sunrise and sunset times for those of you that are into dawn and or night dives.
Reef Renewable Nair's weekly presentation kicks off the week of events, Sunday evening at 5.30 in Blenny's Restaurant at Buddy Dive Resort. Check out reefrenewalbonaire.org for more information about their terrific work around the island. At 8 p.m. on Monday, Nicole Pelletier of the Caribbean Islands Manta Conservation Program will be at Divi Flamingo to give a presentation on their efforts. And yes, there are mantas in the Caribbean. Facebook.com forward slash Caribbean Islands Manta has additional information and some sweet manta pics. If you'd like to learn more about Bonaire's turtles, including where to find them, what they eat, and how they reproduce, Sea Turtle Conservation Bonaire holds their bi-weekly meeting at 8 o'clock on Wednesday evening at Yellow Submarine in downtown Krylandike. More information about their organization can be found at bonaireturtles.org. Stanapa has already opened registration for their Great Lionfish Derby 2023, which will be on Saturday the 27th. Bring all your freshly caught lionfish to Salt Pier for measurement, counting, and awards. They will also have island chefs to turn it all into delicious food to go along with the drinks, music, and general revelry. Search for Stanapa Lionfish Derby on Facebook, or use the link below to get to their registration form. Saturday also kicks off Operation CCR at Buddy Dive Resort. It's a week-long event full of presentations, demonstrations, and, the most exciting part, gear tryouts. Additionally, there will be a guided dive to the Windjammer, a 180-foot deep wreck. More information can be found at buddydive.com forward slash events forward slash Operation CCR. Finally, one Hour Cleanup Power is a quick-hit group of volunteers attacking one specific area of Bonaire's coastline every week. Although this isn't directly dive-related, we're including it because every piece of trash removed from the coastline is another piece of trash that doesn't end up in the water. You can find out more at onehourcleanuppower.one or check out facebook.com forward slash onehourcleanuppower for the latest planned location. That's it for episode two. We're still tweaking things, but if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. While you're down there, consider subscribing to our channel. Come on, it'll be fun. Thanks. Smiley face.